Hello everyone, this is Chris from Chris Trains with tutorial number seven, how to drive with the ATB system. ATB is the older generation of train protection system on trains in the Netherlands, and it's designed to prevent basic overspeeding, but it does require the driver to pay attention because it will only alert you to the next highest speed limit. I'll show you that in a few minutes. I'm going to assume that you have watched tutorial number five, which explains you to you how to enable and disable ATB. So we've enabled it. You can see here on this display, it says ATB EG. EG is Eerste Generatie in Dutch, which means first generation. And these are the speed limits that it can monitor. So the yellow box is 40, then 60, then 80, 130, and 140 kilometers an hour. So as we start to drive, we are currently in a 40 km an hour zone and it's monitoring us at 40 km an hour. I'm going to leave this small HUD display up so that it makes a little bit more sense as to what ATB is doing. So I'll keep us below the speed limit for the time being. We're now going to pass into an 80 km an hour zone. Once the tail of train passes the 80 sign, ATB will ding in the cab and you will see this number will jump to 8. So now we are monitored at 80 kilometers an hour. So we'll speed up to 80. And this next speed limit will demonstrate one of the shortfalls of the old system. So you'll see now we're about to jump into a 120 zone here. ATB can only alert you to the next highest speed limit, and the next limit that it knows about is 130. So while the ATB system is now monitoring you at 130 kilometers an hour, the actual track speed limit is still only 120, so you must pay attention to the track side signs. So I can go faster than 120, and ATB will not alert me until I go over 130. I'll just demonstrate that. So our speed now is 123, 4, 5, 6, so we're very much over the speed limit, but ATB doesn't know how to deal with this. We've just entered a 160 zone, so the track limit is 160, ATB maximum speed is 140. So let me just hold at 140. And we're now capped. Even though we're on a high speed section of the line, ATB will not let this train travel faster than 140. ATB has a built in tolerance of around 3 kilometers an hour, 3 to 5 kilometers an hour, over the monitored speed limit. So, as I start to speed up again, what will happen is once I get past about 143 kilometers an hour, you'll get an alarm bell, and you have to respond to that within a couple of seconds, otherwise the emergency brakes come. So I'll respond to it, first of all, by braking. So there's the alert, and I have to brake. So now we're back in the monitored speed. If I overspeed again and don't correct it, the emergency brake will come. So as we go over 145, I don't correct the speed, and now we get emergency brake, ATB. So this will bring the train to a complete stop. And now I have to reset the emergency brake. The basic emergency brake reset procedure was covered in tutorial number one, but there is one additional step when the ATB causes an emergency brake, and you can see here this red light is on, which it normally isn't for a regular e-brake. So put the train in neutral, pull the handle all the way back, and what I have to do now is if I just put this combination lever back in zero, it doesn't reset the emergency brake like it normally would. Because ATB has intervened, what I have to do is pull this back, tap that button, and now put this combination handle back into the zero position. So that's how you recover from an emergency brake on ATB.
Okay, we're going to drive a little bit further. Okay, so we're back traveling at speed, and I'm going to show you now how to slow down with ATB. ATB will generally alert you about a kilometer before a drop in speed limit. So you can see we're currently in a 120 zone, ATB is enforcing 130. About a kilometer ahead, there's an 80 zone. We just saw the indication of that. There's the alarm, and we have to start slowing down. Now, in order to slow down correctly, you have to have the brakes set at 20% or more. If the brakes are set at 20%, you'll get this symbol here, which is the brake criterion light. If I stop braking, that goes away and the alarm comes back on. If I brake at 20% again, the alarm turns off. ATB is a pretty simple system, so it has not very complex methods of enforcing speed. But once we get down to the speed limit, you'll get three tones. Although we've actually just dropped into a lower speed limit again, so now I have to keep slowing down because there's a 40 km an hour zone coming up. So we'll keep slowing down. I'll actually just speed this up a little bit for you. And as we get to within 3 km an hour of the new speed limit down here, so you'll get a warning or an alert. And those three bells mean you're now within the tolerance for the new speed limit. So again, ATB is the first generation system. It's designed to prevent overspeeding, but it's not very accurate. It does require a lot of driver attention. But once you learn to drive with it, it can become pretty easy to use. So that's the end of tutorial number seven, driving with ATB.